Does your banner lord look like this? And then still manages to stutter and lag once in a while? Uh, bruh, you need to watch this video until the end and find out how you can best optimize it. When you go to your options, the first thing you need to notice is whether you have enough GPU memory or if it says like 128, 256, something of the sort. If you have this kind of situation here where you need much more memory than you have available, then this is actually easily fixable. You just go to video and then you switch from the default graphics that you have to your proper graphics card. In my case, it's the GTX 1050 and this is going to require a restart. So I would suggest doing this and then restarting your game and then coming back to the options. After you go back to your options, you're going to notice that you have significantly more GPU memory to use. So the thing is, once you first install Bannerlord, it just puts your integrated graphics card as the default one. So you have to switch it manually to the NVIDIA GeForce, whatever you have. Do that and then you have a lot more VRAM available and you can actually increase the graphics of the game. In my case, I can even do very high graphics and I'm pretty sure that is the case with most people right now since very few still have the potato computers. But regardless, if you have the potato computer or if you have a top-notch computer you might get some stuttering and lag and this is how you can fix that issue first thing you need to make sure is that you put VSync on none this is pretty much useless and it takes up a lot of your processing power during the game another issue is limiting your frames so I would suggest putting it on 60 frames but if you have a 144 Hertz monitor 144 is not that bad and it still works in my computer on my laptop at least but um yeah it's up to you i w if you have a decent laptop put it 144 if not leave it on 60. next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the audio screen and we're gonna switch the sound channel go 128 europe and you'll probably never have lag again then switch back to the performance you might want to switch off screen space reflection because it takes a bit of memory off and it's useless and you want to do the same for motion blur because it's just nauseating and it doesn't help in any way then you want to go to shadow type and make sure you put it on static only as dynamic shadows really really take a lot of your GPU once you start having 500 dynamic shadows in one battle that is quite a few shadows another thing you want to put on low is number of corpses this is pretty much useless. It is a nice touch having a lot of corpses on the battlefield, but it does take up a lot of your processing power and it does cause a lot of lag. Switch this to low and you still have a couple of corpses on the battlefield or if you like, switch it to none and you have zero corpses after you kill everybody. Follow all of the instructions in this video and your game's gonna run a lot smoother than it did before and your graphics are gonna be way better as well. If you did like this video, then leave a like so you let me know how you feel about it and subscribe if you like to see more videos like it in the future.